understand why they would. And I'm not saying this is not specific to Final Fantasy 13 at all. Like I've noticed this on several different Final Fantasies where they'll have an entire level, specifically on an airship, where the alarms are going off because they found out the bad us, the the main characters are on the ship, and they just have the level constantly having a loud siren going off. And I don't know who at the company was like, guys. I have a great idea for sound design immersion. Just have a really loud, whirring sound constantly going off. Just so that, like, if you're in the living room trying to play this fucking game, your mom's gonna come in and be like, turn that fucking game off. I'm making dinner, and there's a constant whirring going off. That game is banned, I'm breaking it. And then you're banned from playing video games. Great sound design there, Final Fantasy. Why do you repeatedly do it? Final Fantasy is now queer culture. <laughs> Cosmic Love, I just want to say these streams lately have been really great. Thanks for taking the time to do them. You're hilarious and always love tuning in. Thank you very much. That was a very nice thing to say. I'm replaying Final Fantasy X, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that when I'm on the airship. There's going to be a time where you're somewhere, and the alarms are going to be blasting off right in your ears. The lesbians and their tiny son. God, make this sound stop. Make it stop. Neon Vanguard, you know, I'll honest, be honest, I haven't gotten into Twitch since it was just in TV, but hey, it's Geek Remix, how can I not? Well, thanks for being here, Vanguard. Don't worry, most of them aren't sexy enough to live. The true enemy is sirens going off, yes. Why would they do this? I just don't understand why would they like Here, I'm going to turn the the game down so you guys can like don't have to hear the siren while this is going off. I'll turn the music back up. I mean the sound back up when um when the sirens are off because I don't want you guys to have to deal with this shit. I'm sorry. Aw, thank you, Witcher of Hyrule. Hey guys, did you know that Final Fantasy X2 is on the PC as well? There better be something good at the end of this hallway, otherwise I'm gonna be pissed. What? The fuck? Can Naifu stop the alarms? There's only one man, no, there's only one genderless knife for the job, and that's Naifu. Naifu for gen gender non binary. 
What's the... Uh, what's the correct word? Agender? Or non-gendered? Let me know in the comments. Honestly, Naifu has no gender and that's what makes them so powerful. That and because they're a knife. There's two things if you want to be strong in this world. Have no gender and be a knife. Hey, is the, are, the, are the sirens still loud? I can turn it down. I'll turn it back up when the sirens are gone. For now, you can just can just hear me breathe because my nose is kind of stuffed. Was there a point to this area? I guess not. Okay, whatever. Already, <laughs> Andrew Basecast has already completed step one. No, leave me alone. Don't want to fight you. I already fought you once. Go away. Don't need your drama. Don't need it. Don't want it. Only a knife who can save us from this torment. That is true. These are facts. Knife who is moonworthy. <laughs> Final Fantasy 13 4 Naifu returns. Yeah, I have. Okay, how can you tell I have allergies? Or did I say that? <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of allergies, yeah. But I'm trying to work through it, fight it, fight the power. You know what, though? And I know people, okay, if you're new to the channel and new to the stream, like, my sense of humor is a little SJW, but I try to be sarcastic about it. So when I say, you know, allergy season is the patriarchy, that's what we call a joke. And don't take it seriously, because I don't actually think the allergy season is the patriarchy. But if you think about it, pollen is tree semen, and you're getting fucking tree bukkake'd all the time. And the thing about the pa patriarchy, it oppresses all genders. Okay? That's the shit feminists have been trying to tell you. Allergies, they fucking oppress you. Okay? There's tree semen going in your eyes, in your ears, and in your mouth, and all over your body. And you guys are telling me this is not the patriarchy? I don't think so, okay? I'm allergic to tree bukkake too. This is cute lab. I mean, so if somebody's ever like, the patriarchy doesn't exist, and I'm like, okay, so imagine this. Feminists aren't saying that the patriarchy only hurts women and non-men, okay? They're saying that it hurts everybody, okay? So the patriarchy is tree semen. It gets in everybody's eyes, and, and we all react differently to it. Some, t some people have itchy eyes. Some people have runny noses. Some people have both. You know. And that's where privilege comes in. You know. Actually, this is turning out to be a pretty good allegory. So, you know, some people's allergies are more severe than other people's allergies. And the people whose allergies are less severe, you know, they get aller <laughs> allergy resistance privilege. And they can still do their job and work. And other people... They get worse allergies, and that that leads to infections, and they get sick. You know, everybody's allergies are equally valid. Just some are more difficult to deal with than others. <laughs> so, like, if you're a person who gets watery eyes, yes, you're affected by the tree pollen semen patriarchy. But some other people get allergies way worse than you. Does that mean that you don't have allergies? No. But it also, 
you know, take into consideration other people are, like, you know, affected by tree pollen pukake shit way worse than you. And that is what we call privilege. You know, your struggles are still valid. Everybody has different perspectives on struggles. Just means that other people might have a little harder than you, and it's okay to recognize that. The patriarchy has toxic Mexican lander tree. That's cute, cute lab. Thoughts on the Final Fantasy house? What's the Final Fantasy house, junky, junkery bookie? <laughs> This is going to get you kicked off Twitch. Dang, I'm the cis rich cis boy white boy of tree semen allergy. You know, I don't want to say that, like, it's less valid to be a straight cis boy. Because straight cis people, they can get depression and shit. You know, th there's, like, still struggles happening, you know. Just saying that other people probably have it harder for different reasons. You know? That doesn't mean people can't have it hard. And I don't think anyone's saying that. And if they are, well, you know, they're wrong. Just, all people are asking is like, hey, you know, just, just recognize that you might have it a little bit easier than other people. But your, your problems are still valid. You, know, you can still get depressed. You can still work hard. Just sometimes other people gotta work even harder than you. And that's okay. Thank you. Hi, Mitch Christian Christian One. How oh thank you for being happy that I'm streaming. Thanks. Oh I'm sorry if you really love Final Fantasy thirteen, cause uh, <laughs> here on this stream we talk major shit about it. Even though it's kinda growing on me. I gotta admit it. The characters are growing a little bit on me, so long as Snow and Hope are not on the screen at the same time. This allegory is great, yeah. People that don't have allergies be like, why the fuck can't y'all breathe? I don't know, the air is fine. For some, Benadryl works. Others, Nasacort. For others, nothing. And that's what we call Bukaki's tre sea treatment semen privilege. And some, you know, people might be like, why can't you just get over your allergies, you know? Just, like, not have them. And people are like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Are you for real? And some people, you know, they can eat local honey and uh, slowly get better. Or they can get allergy treatment. But some people can't afford, you know, getting organic local honey and shit. And so they're cursed to be an allergy hell forever or maybe they just don't know about that option fang and vanilla are my faves though you know what though everyone has convinced me that fang and vanilla are gay and if you tell me anything otherwise shut up don't talk to me <laughs> fang and vanilla are girlfriends and if you tell me other oh my god Mitch Christian one. Okay, so are you a Christian? Because I'm worried about saying these things to a Christian. <laughs> um, so our head cannon for Fang and Vanille. You know how Vanille constantly runs around like really strangely, and her her knees are always together, and she's always making orgasm sounds for no reason, <laughs> especially when she's getting hit. So our collective head cannon now is that. Fang has one of those wireless, like, remotely over the internet vibrators in Vanille's pussy at all times. Pussy. Her name, her, it's not a pussy, it's a pussy. And is always setting it off, and that's why Vanille is constantly sounding like she's coming. It's because Kay Fang is using her cell phone to set off the vibrator <laughs> at all times. Also, Fang is a dom, and... Lightning is romantically aromantic, but I don't know. People think lightning is asexual. I'm, I'm willing to accept that. Personally, I get kind of lesbian vibes from lightning, but if, you know, in order to keep this stream diverse, 
Lightning will be asexual, and that's cool with me. I'm willing to do that. We already got some lesbians. Keep that representation up on Pride Week. Pride Month, my bad. But also Val as fuck. Let me know if, like, my gross mouth sounds are, f like, freaking you out. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm having a little bit of allergies and I turned the music down so you guys wouldn't have to listen to ooh, 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 all day. Oh, wait, I just came from here. Fuck. <laughs> Why am I like this? She can be ace and lesbian. You're right. Being asexual is different from being aromantic. That's true. In case anybody watching doesn't understand the difference, asexual means, like, it's kind of complicated, but asexual is, like, more or less somebody who's just not interested in engaging in sexual activities with another person. From what people have told me, ace people sometimes masturbate, but that doesn't mean that they actually want to have sex. So... That is my understanding, and if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. Unless you're, unless you think I'm wrong and that you're gonna invalidate that aces exist, then then you're wrong. <laughs> and a romantic is somebody who feels, you know, sexual desires and wants to have sex, but just doesn't have any desire to have a romantic situation and in our society people often think like you have to at least be in love with somebody whether it be gay or straight or poly or monogamous but some people just don't want to do it and just and you don't have to you know if you don't want to have sex you don't have to if you don't want to be in love you don't have to and that's okay Witcher of Hyrule is demisexual, and demisexual is like, you ever, like, if you're a person out there who has a standard sexuality, um, you know, you ever, like, look at a picture of someone and you're like, yeah, that's a sexual human being. Demisexuals, and correct me if I'm wrong, are people who, uh only are able to establish a sexual or romantic attraction after getting to know their personality. So they can be attracted to like anyone if I'm if, if I'm getting this right, which is different from pansexual when you can just be attracted to like anybody, but being attracted being demisexual is being attracted to anyone, but like a personality. Like, the personality is the thing that turns them on. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct? Okay, good. So, demisexuals, you know, it really like, doesn't matter about the shell. It matters about the personality, which is different from pansexual slash bisexual. People use that term interchangeably. Or you can just be attracted to, like, any person without having to need the context of their personality. And some people are like, well, why do we need that distinction? And it's like, well, it's not really so much for other people to understand. It's for people to understand themselves. Like, labels, you know, if you don't understand a label, that's okay. You don't need to understand someone in order to accept them. Because there's certain things I'll never understand. But that doesn't mean that I can't be supportive and accepting of it. You know? You don't need to, like... Whatever. Basically, that means when you form a close bond with someone and then you're in deep shit. <laughs> you're shaken by it. Yes.
Michael Christian says that they're a homoral 18-year-old and they have fantasies and want to, and would like a GF, but they could go their whole life without sex, as being with my mates and going to dope parties is good enough for me. And that's that's a perfectly valid way to live your life. You can live your life however you want. Yeah, you know. Everybody gets to feel valid during Pride Month. Except for phobes. <laughs> what, like, there's a, there's gotta be a, like, a queer phobes. Co just call them phobes. Biphobes, homophobes, transphobes, acephobes, aerophobes, panphobes, demiphobes, any phobes. It within the LGBTQI community, just phobin? No, you don't get to be it. There's no international phobe pride month, okay? This is, this is queer pride month, okay? It's pride month, not phobe month. Phobes not invited. Thanks, the gentlemen. Thanks for coming by. And I'm glad that you made the time to come see us. I appreciate it. What's Aero, if you don't mind me asking? So Aero is aromantic. Aromantic is when you... Or are you talking about a spell <laughs> in Final Fantasy? Are you talking about the sexual... About the... About the... The spectrum or the spell from Final Fantasy? <laughs> Aero means aromantic, which means somebody who doesn't... Like, there's aromantic people who want to have friendships and want to have close bonds with people. However, they have no desire for romance. And that's valid. If you want to live that way, and if you want to be honest with somebody and say, Hey, like, I just... not I'm not into being in love. Good for you. You don't need to be in love to be accepted in society. Some people just... They don't need that, and or they don't want it, and that's cool. Some people might find that intimidating because they're like, how could you not want to be in love? I want to be in love. Now you're basically rejecting me flat off the bat. But, you know, if somebody is honest about what their needs are, there's no reason to hate on somebody who's aromantic. Aerosexual. I don't know. <laughs> What's aerosexual? Oh, okay. Okay, Blue Peach Studio says, You don't feel romantic attraction towards people, but some people have queer platonic relationships, which are like Aero versions of dating, but with, with not romance. You're just together with your friend. Some people might be like, Isn't that just what dating is? You know what? Like, you may think that, but, you know, maybe I don't get it, but if that's, like, how they feel, and I don't get it, like, it's not my business to be like, oh, yeah, well, this doesn't make any sense. Like, okay, there's a lot of things that don't make sense to a lot of people. Doesn't mean it's not real. I don't understand astrophysics. Doesn't mean astrophysics isn't real. <laughs> Uh, hey, Jordan of 2012. You didn't miss much. You're good. We're just, uh... We're, there's this really grindy part, so everyone's asking what different shit is. Sword gaze, A plus username. Nice. Attention all crew, code green. Repeat, code green. Security forces stand by. Oh, I'm sorry, you're having anxiety, Witcher. Oh. Get up. You're being moved. 
On your feet, scum! You too! Time to split. Damn, Vanille. There's a difference. Gotcha. <laughs> she just straight up fucked that dude up. Let's go. Vanille, when did you just turn into such a bad bitch? Well, I'm sure you used to be some sort of horrendous, like, monster killing thousands, but, you know. Oh, back to your fishing pole. Do I deserve to escape? Not now, Vanille. What? You'd rather die? What? Cause that's gotta scare you. It scares me. It scares me so much. I think I might die of fright. Vanille, you demand a lot of emotional labor from Zaz. So <laughs> I push myself to live even harder. I, I can just imagine Dodge laughing at me talking this nonsense. <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'd do anything to see that smile. <laughs> Stay positive, right? Saz, you're such a good person. <laughs> Saz, you're like a solid dude. But poor Saz also. Like, Vanille asks a lot of emotional labor from Saz. Like, a lot. She's like, Saz, I know I'm at fault for turning your son into a crystal, but do I deserve to live? And he's like, Vanille, like, if anyone here deserves emotional support right now, it's me. Because I just tried to kill myself and my son is a crystal. But, you know, yes, you deserve to live, Vanille. You deserve to live. And she's like, Thank you, Saz. Thank you for telling me I deserve to live. Hi, bisected Brio. She didn't miss much. Uh, you. Um... Oops, I wasn't paying attention. We just talked about sexual and non-sexual identities. You know. He gets demoted to a DLC in the next game? Aww. Saz is that dude who will help anyone and expect nothing from anyone else. That's good, Mr. Introspective. Poor Saz. I hope Saz gets his baby back. His cheeks are so cute. <laughs> oh, thank you for the cheers, Neurofox. 313. Isn't that like three bucks? Thank you. What was that? Did his two guns just turn into one gun? That was cool. I can't believe it. I can't vani believe Vanille has grown so much on me. I used to be such a hater, but now I love her. Thank you, Bloody Fox, for explaining. I kind of wish Twitch made more of the queer trans flags available. Hmm. Maybe I can add some flags for, uh... I'll ask... I, I can add them to the Twitch subscriber emojis. I, I don't know if that, like, really helps, but... Maybe I can make some, uh... You know how we have the Galien emoji? So, maybe... 
I can ask Tess to make some like uh, que queerlians. Is that how like, gay aliens queer queer aliens? Will you play Tales games next? Like Tales of Berzia or Tales of the Abyss? Um, I don't know what that is. I've never heard of it. I'm not quite sure you're, what you're talking about. But it seems interesting. So, uh, what, what flags are missing from the, the Twitch Pride flag? See you, Daddy, now! Do you think somebody like at Square Enix or the were at least uh, the um, the translators just really hates Flan? Because Flan tastes amazing, and I love Flan. But why do they have to make Flan an enemy? Like Flan's basically an iconic enemy in Final Fantasy at this point. I always laugh when someone says daddy, it's just like trying not to laugh at 69. <laughs> They're missing the demi flag as well. Okay. Demi, ace, pan are the ones off the top of my head. I'm sure there's flags, I just don't know of them yet. I think they were referencing to another setting calling enemies pudding or something. Oh. Like slimes? Alright, hold on. I have to pee. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Oh! Wait. Somebody did a thing. Someone gave me triangles. I can't even read it. Thank you for the 20 cheers. Space... Oh, space K's. Thank you. Thank you for this... Ooh, there's 20 gay cheers, I think. Thank you. to give Twitch some um, credit because Twitch doesn't demonetize their queer creators. Only YouTube does. So credit to Twitch for A, putting gay emojis on their website and B, not profiting off of homophobia. Uh, I'm going to be on purple. I repeat, code purple. Security breach. All units on alert. Code purple. Looks like we ain't the only ones cleaning house. <laughs> Could be Lucy. Could be fine. Come on, let's hurry. Let's go get rescued. Uh -uh. No. Not no. this time. Not this time. For once in my life, I am going to save her. <gasps> That's very All gay right, of you. Now you talking. Let's go. Wow, Vanille. I like how Vanille's becoming less helpless. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to be. Stacy and I are going to be on Newsy TV. All these colors. What's it mean? Means we're doing our job. Thing with the gay pride necklace. Who are they fighting? Anil. She can sense it because her phone is connected to Vanille's vibrator. And that's a fact. That's a bio truth. Lifesaver. Oh, I'm sorry, um... Oh, the siren's back on? I didn't even notice. I'll turn it down. Here, there you go. Now you guys don't have to hear the siren. I started reading a Leon Chris Resident Evil fan fiction today, and do you ever just hate it when you have a ship that is so underrated? There's like three fanfics about them. It's a very specific ship. But sometimes you just gotta have it, you know? Sometimes you have to just write your own. Neon fan again, man, fuck it, it's been two, like two years, but I'm gonna continue that Geek Remix fanfic I started. If only I just had a little, y'all would be inspiring. Aw, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm always like mesmerized by the Crystarium. It's so beautiful. Barthunder. What is Barthunder? Sounds like a barf. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, I apologize if you can hear me like breathing and stuff. I do have allergies. And I'm a little scratchy today, but I'll try my best to keep the sound and everything pleasant. I care very much.
Hmm. Right or left? Left. Oh god, I've made a poor choice. <laughs> I gotta start summoning more, just because it's, like, fun. The summons in this game are really pretty. I have to give them that. You know what I don't understand? The last two mainstream Final Fantasies have been in, like, development hell. But, for some reason... But for some reason, like, why would they be in development hell if, like, Final Fantasy is one of their main money makers, you know? Like, everybody fucking buys Final Fantasy. I just don't understand. Maybe there's something I just don't get. I don't understand what this gauge does at all. Well, we're still seeing Final Fantasy VII related stuff. Maybe they want to make sure Final Fantasy main, the main Final Fantasy game is big enough to support a load of spin-off stuff. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. Let me know. I should probably turn this down more because I don't want you guys to get to get your ears blasted out by sirens. I'm hitting that synergist the shit. Thank you for rating my dry red. To everybody who's rating, just letting you know the sound is low because there's a huge siren going off for no reason. Oh, I liked Final Fantasy XIV Realm Reborn, but I have a huge problem with MMOs in which I cannot play them responsibly at all. <laughs> I just, I can't do it. <laughs> so, like, if I play any sort of MMO, I just lose my goddamn mind. So, <sighs> I just can't, it's not, I can't make any good work out of it. I can't make any good content out of MMOs. So I think I'd just rather, you know, be, be chill and play other video games even though I do love MMOs. I just I can't handle them. Do you know any games like Dragon Age slash Mass Effect? I need a new game to get invested in. Everyone says that The Witcher 3 is uh, 
is pretty good. I never gave The Witcher 3 a chance. But I hear Geralt is, like, not gross. And the female characters are good. And, like, the choice-based system is fun. So I think you have a good thing with that. Unless you're a real stickler with playing as a female character, then I understand. Also, um... You know, it's really underrated, but in Skyrim, you can get a house and be gay. So you can get married to someone of the same gender as you. You can also get married to a Khajiit or an Argonian. So you can either get, you can get married to a cat or a lizard, if you're a furry. And you can adopt children. So you can have a gay little family in the forest in Skyrim. And I just... That's th that's a big like miss. People are missing here in Skyrim. Back way back in 2011, you could have a gay family. Okay, they gave you a gay family in Skyrim. Yeah, you can have a gay family and a dog. So. Where am I trying to go? Okay. You know what to do. Getting married in Skyrim annoyed me because it replaced all her dialogue with generic wife dialogue. That character's dialogue was cute and fun. You know, if you get it on PC, you can get it modded. On PC, you can do anything. What other games are good for Final Fantasy slash Dragon Age? Let me think. Hmm. It depends on what type of uh, Mass Effect situation that you want. Slash Dragon Age situation. You want that Bioware feel. You could always play Knights of the Old Republic. Or Jade Empire. Those are both by Bioware. You can be a lesbian in uh, Jade Empire. What other games can you be gay? Start, honestly, I know this doesn't sound like it would be, but Stardew Valley is amazing. <laughs> Uh, it takes basically a harvest moon, but better. It's better. It's a better harvest moon. <laughs> it takes all the things about harvest moon and just it improves on everything about it. And you can get married and have babies, have a farm, have friends. Basically, it just gives you the fantasy of <laughs> have of have of being a homeowner and living with somebody who loves you. <laughs> Which fulfills the fantasy of being a homeowner and having someone who cares about you. Stardew Valley, soul your time, yeah. Dude, I heard like there's like a, a game that they're making that's basically a witch simulator. It's gonna be like Stardew Valley, but you're a witch. And that sounds fucking amazing. It's like cute witch stuff, like, you know, Kiki's delivery service level cute. And I'm like, oh, so you're basically making the game created for my soul. It's for about who I am deep inside. Fuck off with this shit. Are there any games you know of that <coughs> has character creation with more than male and female? Um, I know that Saints Row, I think it was either 2 or 3, had a gender spectrum graph. It, like, uh, you could, you could, like, there was a slider for feminine and masculine or something like that. I know that it was, and you could like put it in the middle. Saints Row 2 or 3 had that, where it was like, 
your gender was it was like on a slider. Yeah, and in Saints Row you can change your voice and body options and all that fun stuff. Saints Row, like... Everyone, it's like really edgy and stuff, but also like super inclusive. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're gonna sell drugs and kill people, but also if you're genderqueer, that's dope! And you're like, what? <laughs> Bitch, your clone no. fucked. <laughs> Damn the sea. Intruders located. They're on the weather deck, starboard side. <sighs> Make it rain. Desperate times demand flexibility. Code white. Oh shit. That. Are they gonna blow shit up? They're gonna blow shit up. They're gonna summon God. No. Excuse me. What's going on? Oh, uh, did you know that uh, the Spartans from Halo are kind of genderless? Oh, I, I think if I can remember correctly, they're supposed to be like. I mean, they were when they were born, they had genders, but like they don't have them anymore. Like their genitals are just kind of like whatever. They gave up. Wait, wait. What? Okay, whatever. Damn, girl. Killing it. Dragon Age 4 isn't even being worked on. The entire team is focused on Anthem. And that's what happens when your favorite game studio contracts EA. <sighs> I mean, it is what it is. I'm sorry that my favorite place died and all the writers left because they're like, I fucking hate this company. It's the worst. Is this where I want to go? Going straight through. Who gives a shit? Oh fuck. I summon Broomhilda! Broomhilda? Fuck! Broomhilda, wasn't she like a cutie from German folklore? Damn, Broomhilda! You're looking great! About time you showed up. I love Japan's interpretation of Eastern, uh, of European folklore. It makes zero sense.
Put me behind the wheel. I don't understand what's going on when the summons are going on. It doesn't make sense to me. Like the battles and shit. That's right. Let's do it. Idolins, start your engines. Full speed ahead. Taking it off. Damn. Full speed ahead. Holy shit. Spell flame. Time to wrap this up. Come on. Anthem was supposed to come out this year. It's delayed. I don't even know what Anthem's about. I don't even want to know about it. If it ends up being good, I'm glad. If it doesn't end up being good, I'll just have lost nothing. He's having a little too much fun. You got this, Benil. Time to dual cast this boy. Lizard boy. Vanille sex noises. Never change, Vanille. Never change. I want Anthem to fail because they killed Mass Effect. Honestly, me too. None of, like, most of the original Bioware team is gone. EA's, you know what EA is doing? They're just using the Bioware name to just throw out garbage. And then once the Bioware's name is destroyed, they buy another company with a good name. And then they have that company throw out garbage too. They throw out cheap garbage, make you think, Oh, it's that game developer company I really love, and they always make good games. And they're like, tricked you, bitch. Tricked you. It does make them more money. It's cheaper to just buy a game studio with a good name and then force that game studio to push out fast, easy, cheap games that don't live up to their previous standards until that name is ruined and then buy a new studio rather than actually make good games on a consistent basis. That's literally the strategy. That's like how it is. Their strategy is to buy a good video game uh, developer and then Their strategy is to buy a video game developer with a good name Because they put a lot of effort in and force them to do that. It's fucking bullshit.
hope my neighbors can't hear this stream. Oh my god. Fang is really pushing that button today. <laughs> oh, I'm playing on easy, so don't give me any credit for being good at video games, because I'm not. Quinny G says, I'm tired of open world games. Like, why did Dragon Age Inquisition have to be open world? I hated walking around some of the maps because of how empty it was. It's true. Well, isn't this great? Hey guys, did you know that this tutorial is 50 hours long? I've never been more tutorialized. Excuse me, my two on a cucumber. Inquisition, but there was a lot of editing that went into that playthrough. I edited that out a lot of the aimless wandering. Aurora. This makes it sound like they're doing Areola. <laughs> hey, I'm an adult. I'm very mature. God, just fucking die. I hate these things. They take forever. Are you Stacy planning on playing Vampire? Yep. She's getting home tonight, late at night, so don't expect a lot. Um, but tomorrow, after she wakes up from what I assume is going to be a 24 hour power coma, um, we will play it and finish Detroit Become Human and all the other shit that we need to do. Thanks, Vanille. Oh yeah. We got this, Vanille. Vampire. Three years later. Sarah from Dragon Age Inquisition. The, when I first saw her, I thought she was like annoying as shit. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you talk like that? I don't understand what you're saying. But she kind of grew on me a little bit. Just be, I don't know, good luck. That looks a lot more like bad luck. Damn, called out. That, that Is there a marriage scene now. for Josie? Um, for Josie, I think. Um, oh my God, does this game like? Is anything going to happen during this game? Stay calm. Or are we just going to be on the same mission for 78 years? I'm ready for anything to happen. I'm open to suggestions, game. Maybe somebody dies. I don't know. But, um, for Josie, her, like, big romance thing is that 
you have to win her hand you have to win her hand in marriage in a duel which is fucking amazing and you can do that as a woman against a man which is cool Just like I planned. Dwarf Inquisitor is amazing with Josie, see? Because you're so tiny and can still lift her. <laughs> Wait, well, with Sarah you get to marry her. Actually, Sarah asks to marry you. Getting married after ritual combat is probably the only way to get married. That's true, she could go red. The game isn't that linear. Look, we have to walk side to side slightly. <laughs> That's true. Look, I have so many options. I can, like, go through this one or go over here. I have a lot I have a lot to work with. Uh Oh my god. Keep your mind on the battle. Can't decide, decide between Sarah or Josie. You don't have to choose. You can do both. It's just not in the same playthrough. doesn't want to be a big strong Quinari. I mean, wow. Nice Ginny. Quinny. I keep wanting to call you Ginny, like from Harry Potter. Did you know that in the DLC you could romance Scout Harding? I heard that, but I never saw it. If you play on PC, there's a mod that lets you romance multiple people. Yeah, for the lazy people. Or the poly. Whatever. Let's keep this up. Grunts are almost as bad as me. meal. Hope is grunts when he feeds he goes We're getting arrow fucked. Hope, you have one job and that's to heal and you're not doing it.
You want female dwarves with beards? You should. Noir 120 says they ship lightning with Fang. Ballad ship? This game is taking my entire life. Is anything going to happen? Hey guys, do you know when the game starts? Do you think the game's gonna start anytime soon? Or is that just something we have to wait for? And I feel like I don't get enough stuff. Like I still feel like I'm waiting for something to happen. And I'm waiting for me to like get the chance to upgrade my stuff. And it's just never happening. Does that make sense? Like I feel like we're so far in the game and I still it still feels like I'm at the beginning of the game. Does that make sense, you know? Chapter 13 is where the game starts, because I still feel like I haven't had a chance to be like, oh cool, upgrades, you know? And I still haven't felt like the trees have like opened up for me to get a chance to choose what I spec into and stuff. Because, like, I just feel like, okay, it's time to level up, here are your options, and it's just one option. Nothing personal, kid. Is there any indication that we're near the end? People say that we're already half over halfway through. I, it just like I think like okay, how am I gonna upgrade all my stuff? But I don't get enough stuff to upgrade anything. It's just, I don't know. And I was just getting started. Like, it costs 25,000 plus CP to teach Hope to attack. <laughs> you never get to choose on the Crystallium. Some characters only go so high in different roles. What? What as, man? In other Final Fantasy games, I feel like there's a lot of equipment upgrading, a lot of leveling, you know. And in this one, I really feel like I haven't had a chance to really be like, Oh, okay, it's time to like change my equipment and level up my equipment and like buy new stats and everything. For this game, I really feel like I haven't had a chance to do any of those things because ha it simply has not given me the choice. Or I've never needed to. Does that make sense? I must have played all of this and just don't remember because I remember the the plot the spot the part of the game where I no longer I just didn't want to play anymore was there was a boss fight where I was fighting a giant face and that's all I remember like it was just a bunch of giant faces and that's when I stopped playing the game. I just like didn't want to play it anymore. Does anyone know where that is? And I don't remember any of this. I don't remember any of this. Like that's happening. Usually when I play games, I at least remember what happened. But I don't remember shit. Keep a cool head. Oh, 
looking at me. Thirteen's leveling system. Start! End! Woo! Epic journey! Nice science of fantasy. Thank you. Kinda sounds like the last boss. Are you serious? Did I honestly get to the last boss without even knowing? I didn't know that that was the last boss when I played the game. I thought I was like in the middle of the game. That boss is in chapter 13? How do I, like, not remember this shit? How is it the last boss, bloody fox? I genuinely believe that... Actually, you're gonna meet him soon. Maybe this is the point where I finally beat him. I just remember I was going through tunnels, and then I finally went up to this boss who had a bunch of faces, and that's all I know. The best part about this game is the lesbians, and it still manages to be lesbian proficient. Science of Fantasy. I played this game through this game four times. I still forget 90% of it. You must have at least enjoyed it if you played it four times. Right? Or wrong? Lightning is cool. You are correct. Oh, thank you for the bits, Epic Glitter. A hundred. You're great. Your content is great. This game at least has lesbians. Happy Pride. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Epic Glitter. AG1995. Enjoy four six of the characters enough to sit through the melodrama every once in a while. <laughs> Mr. Introspective says, I'm that guy who likes everyone but lightning. Oh, dang. Thanks. Thank you. That's how it's done. Is this game over yet? Oh my god, endless hallways. Nothing I can't handle. I like Lightning a lot because she is the first female app protagonist who doesn't have some romantic plot subplot going on. That's a good point. That's a positive for this game, or at least it makes the game unique. Thankfully, in Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy 13-3, her tits jiggle. 
just in case you guys were hoping that we're just a little too enthused by a strong female protagonist. They made her tits jiggle in case her femininity was too intense for you. Her feminine strength might have uh, made some men insecure so they made her tits jiggle. Oh, finally something's happening. makes us lucky because when we kill it we're one step closer to vanille how's that well when you put it that way <laughs> because when we kill it we're closer to the lesbians I mean how can you not say that those two are gay why is this why are we fighting a dragon made of paper clips just in case you guys are wondering those are paper clips. Did somebody at the thing go like, "Listen, guys, we need a dragon whose butt is a whose butthole was a mouth." And the guy was like, "Sure, sure, I'll come up with something." And he looks at his desk, and there's just a bunch of paper clips. And he's like, "Guys, say no more." You know, I've yet to feel like I've even encountered a boss yet. That's what it's missing. Like, I don't even have... We haven't even fought, like, a boss. Like, we've fought quote-unquote bosses, but I just feel like I haven't even fought a boss yet. Like, that doesn't... Like, this is the same exact thing that we've been fighting for 20, 30 hours. Or how long have I been playing? 20, 20 hours? Except for all the ones you died on? I don't know. You have to go hunt the bosses. At least that's true. I just feel like I haven't encountered like a boss boss. Does that make sense? Like somebody who's like, hello, I'm the bad guy. Let's fight. It's always been, hey, random monster here. Or a sky tank or something nobody with an actual personality it takes 49 hours to finish the main story stroke of luck after another i'm so happy i could cry there comes another one okay paper clip Jesus, butt monster William. Come down here. I'm tough. I'm snow. I punched my fat hands together. That bird just did that. Vanille and Saz are just following the bird. The bird just blew that shit up. <gasps> okay, here it comes. There's my good gal. Have you been there a good gal? Miss me? Stay away from my gal. Stay away from her. It's okay, Vanille, I'm here. We just killed this thing. Is it... Why do we have to kill it again? Let me... We just, we're literally having the same fight twice in a row. What the fuck is this? Honestly, this dragon is homophobic. <laughs> nice. Oh, fuck. Thanks. Private? 
lesbian intensified. Whoa, Fang. That was a big crit. Good for you, girl. Oh my god, just die. Lightning is basically female cloud without identity issues. <laughs> All right, Vanille, come to Mama. Come to Mommy. Bang! Have you been a good girl? That's my girl. I'm your daddy now. Let me check. Let me check. You still got it in? Have you been a good girl? She was checking to make sure. I checked to make sure it's in. Like You've been a good girl. We'll talk later, Missy. I'm gonna reward you later. What's in wrong? Private. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Uh, so, uh, what's on the agenda? Uh, toppling the sanctum? No. Come on, sugar baby. He's serious. We're gonna take down the sanctum and give cocoon back to the people. The Falci have called the shots for long enough. Fang was checking to make sure the vibrator was still in. A miracle. Well, good thing Lady Luck's on our side. <laughs> More of them? You can call me Fang, but, but Vanille calls me Daddy. <laughs> Vanille, do it. Vanille, be a good girl. Do as daddy says. Good girl. That's a good girl. She meant she still got battery. No, did she just call her a good girl? All right. <laughs> she just called her a good girl. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> she actually said it. That's a good girl, Vanille. Now jump on this bird with me, pretty little bird. Just a bird on a bird. There's nothing wrong about it. I'm gonna make you feel good. Oh my god, poor Saz! Everybody's safely on the bird and they're just letting Saz like almost fall off? Can someone turn around and help him? The fuck? Mari, you saved Final Fantasy 13. I did. I did. Save Saz! What the fuck? I also believe that if we stuck together, somehow we could change our fate. I've come to daddy now. <laughs> Vanille doesn't call Fang mommy. She calls Fang daddy. That's a good girl. That's my girl. You're tough, aren't you? Isley's through there. We're still gonna have our talk. Ooh. So this first, yeah? 
You're in trouble, Vanille. Just don't you forget it. You're gonna be punished. But don't worry, you'll like it. But don't worry, Vanille. You'll like it. Stacy's still in Japan, Joe's John Z. We still have a talk to do, but don't worry. You'll like your punishment. <laughs> Fang getting all tough in front of a girl. Don't worry, Vanille. I'll protect you. I can choose my party. Finally. Oh shit. Here we go. How do I change my party? That's right. Bit squad. I don't know what I'm doing. I need a higher level adult for this. You can now build lesbian team. <laughs> I like to call them my bitch squad, but I'll also accept lesbian team. Team lesbian. I would set Devault to Rav Rav Comp so you start with damage abilities. Okay. Rav Rav what? Rav Rav Com. There we go. Did I miss fan? Yeah, you missed the brand. You missed vanilla fa <laughs> You missed fan calling vanilla good girl too. It was amazing.
What do I do? Just jump? What am I doing now? I need to go this way. Oh, do I press the button? This game did not feel it had a lot of, much replayability, at least to me. I think the the skill tree is pretty relaxing as well. Hold on, I have to go pee. Sorry, you guys. You guys know how it is when you see a dog, and you just gotta tell them that they're the best. How much of that did you guys hear? Watch your first stream of this game, you guys, you were laughing. Thanks for liking it.
Hold on a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Do you mind not throwing rockets at Vanille? Rude. Both Fang and Vanille are moaning. I'm telling you, this is what they're into, dude. Combat clinic. Thanks. 
Maybe they're both wearing vibrators. Maybe. Their vibrators are synced to their kills. Oh my god. So I'm probably gonna have to cut this stream a little short at only two hours today because I have some work I need to do. Tomorrow I might, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream because Stacy will be home and I'm hoping that we can record, but it really depends. Was just getting started. But on Thursday, I think I should be able to stream perfectly fine. Hopefully. I have to cut this stream, stream so short. Blah, 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 blah. Short. Thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate it. 